Mark, what do you think that President Obama needs to do in the next 48 hours to sell his plan? Look, the White House has quietly behind the scenes clearly been planning a rollout. Continue to be surprised that they haven't reached out widely to business groups. But amongst the coalition of, of, of Democrats in Congress and interest groups focused on immigration, I think the president has a plan. And, you know, Bill Clinton likes to say it's better to be strong and wrong than right and weak. The president's not totally wrong about this, but he doesn't have the whole argument. But he's got a strong plan. As we've seen, Republicans are divided. So I think the president just needs to give an executed speech and keep his coalition moving and dare Republicans to stop him. It's interesting, you know, they were so vacillating on this question of the executive order in the year leading up to the, the midterm elections about what to do, hearing from Democrats, endangered Democrats about how it would be a bad idea, backing down from doing it. As soon as Election Day came, the president and his team had been uh, focused on this. They've been clear they want to do it. And I, I think, as you point out, it's a, they're, they're the strength of it, the fact that they are so determined to do it, regardless of what Boehner, regardless of what McConnell say, I think that gives them the upper hand, and I've thought that for a while. Republican division gives them an upper hand. And the other thing is, I know a lot of Republicans won't believe this, but I guarantee you the legal mind of our president went through the options. They're not extending benefits and, and, a, and a, a legal status to everybody that the right. immigrants' right community would want because the president, I think, made the calculation. What he actually thinks is within his powers. And again, the, the Republicans are divided. Some of them want to go to court. Whatever they do, some Republicans will be unhappy. A larger percentage of the Democratic coalition right. is going to like right. this by a lot right. than the Republican coalition. That's and, an advantage. And as we've said before, they're in a horrible position. Are they going to shut down the government? That's going to be bad for them. They're going to try to impeach him, some of them? That's going to be bad for them. And even if the thing goes to court and he loses in court, he still wins with Hispanic voters, and that's good for the party and good for Hillary and Clinton in 2016. And here's the, other thing, here's the other thing he's got going for him. In American politics, it's better to be optimistic than pessimistic. Right. The president's announcement on, on uh, Facebook today, tomorrow in Las Vegas. These are going to be optimistic, American value, patriotic, and uplifting. And Republicans are going to be the loudest voices, dark bitter and, and not united. Dark and, and yep. dark and pinched and not about making this a bigger country and a more yep. uh, prosperous country and enlarging the American dream. Advantage Obama. Absolutely.